Today we're opening a Yu-Gi-Oh collection that was not supposed to be here. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and in today's video, we're opening up another Yu-Gi-Oh collection. I was hit up by a guy on Instagram and he said, hey, I have a collection uh, I wanna sell you. And I was like, okay, sure, just send it on over if you wanna sell it. He's like, sure, okay, I will. A couple days later, he tells me, you know what? I don't wanna sell anymore. And I was like, okay, whatever. Okay, he's not gonna sell it, he's not gonna send it. Then he told me, here's the tracking number. I just took out some of the cards that I really like. Uh, so I don't know what's in here anymore. So we're about to check it out. We're gonna see what we got sent. If it's like good stuff, bad stuff, you know, average stuff. I don't even know. Like he never showed me anything. He just told me he took out some of the cards, which probably means some of the better cards, I would assume. But I'm not really sure. He also sent us a note which says, sorry, I feel really bad for backing out. As reparations, here are three items, two for the giveaway. Okay, I get to keep one and then two to give away. So these items are weird. I pulled them out of the box and I was like, uh, these are kind of strange items. I'll show you guys. First, we have a Pokemon item. So I was like, okay, this is this is Pokemon. Okay, we're Yu-Gi-Oh channel, but okay, we have a Pokemon. Okay, so this is definitely gonna be in the giveaway because we're probably not opening Pokemon on this channel. I know how you guys feel about the Pokemon, but speaking of Pokemon, go check out Pokerux for the uh, gameplay of Pokemon. We don't really do card openings though for Pokemon. So I guess that's in the giveaway. Second, we have a Wizards of the Coast. I guess this is Magic of the Gathering, MOL Forgotten Realms. That sounds like, I'm pretty sure that's a Magic the Gathering set. I don't know what this is. This is like cards or packs or what is this? Is it, I really don't know. Is it just a lot of like, I don't know what this is. Like, I don't want to open it up because whoever wins the giveaway, I want them to decide if they want to open it up or not. But yeah, this is also going to be in the giveaway because it's not Yu-Gi-Oh, but I like Magic. It's a cool thing, but uh, yeah. So third thing, the thing I'm going to keep is the only Yu-Gi-Oh product not a product. It's a single card. It's a PSA graded card. Number 92 Hard Earth Dragon Ultra Unlimited. So kind of a random card to be graded. Honestly, I need this card for my binder. Are we going to crack a Gym Mint 10? Probably not, but we could. Hard Earth Dragon. So I guess I'm going to keep this one. That's pretty cool. So thanks for sending me this. I actually really like this card. I think it's a pretty awesome one. The other two are in the giveaway. So if you guys want to enter that giveaway for Pokemon and magic stuff, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know below uh, what you think about this collection because I don't know what to think about it either. So let's see. But wait! Did you know that Mega 10 2022 pre-sales are out? Use my code MightyRuxin30 if you want to get $30 off with Sassy Auto's link. It also supports me as well. If you haven't heard about the reprints in these tins, they're reprinting Dark Magician Girl, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, and Blue Eyes with new artwork. And they're also reprinting a bunch of new cards like Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, Forbidden Droplet, Nibiru, Ash, Ghost Ogre, and many more. So make sure you guys use code MightyRuxin if you guys want to save $30 on your pre-order tin and it supports the channel. So let's get back to the video. All right, so we have a couple of these deck boxes. These I have not looked through because I only looked through the stuff that was in the binder because I had to pull it out, so I kind of saw a lot of it. Let's see what's inside. So we're starting off with Japanese cards, which is not usually good because I don't really know how to sell these very well. They're pretty difficult to move. Uh, we got Japanese cards, parallel rares. Okay, is there anything in English? Okay, nice. We've got some, okay, Legendary Duelist 8. Not a great set. Synchro Storm. All right, let's see if we can find any foils. This appears to be bulk for the most part, so... Okay, not a great start, but this was in the deck box. No big deal. It's okay. It's okay. We have another deck box. I don't have high hopes now after that last one, but we'll see. Let's see if there's anything non-bulk in here. Let's see. Uh, that looks like bulk. Okay, we can... Uh, okay. Oh, never mind. There's something epic. A Link Apple. So, more bulk there. All right. Then we have this. It's in a open box of LOB Korean, so I'm assuming this is also bulk. I'm not really sure. That appears to be bulk. So, that looks like Korean bulk. So I'm not going to open that up on camera. Let's get right into the other stuff. All right, let's see if we can find some value in this thing. So far, we're at like not a lot. We're not a lot in the value. Uh, I don't even know what we're paying for this at this point. Because originally he said it was like $3,000. But from what I've seen, like he must have taken out a lot of nice cards. Because like, I don't know if we're going to get to $3,000. We've got a bunch of ghosts from the past two stuff. Pretty sure all of this is under like a dollar for the most part. Um, Geomath mech. This is, we're starting from the, the back of the binder, so this is like the worst stuff in the binder. So it's going to get a little better as we go. Mass change is an okay card. Wait, was this, this was in Ghost from the Past? I kind of forgot about that, so it's definitely under a dollar. Then Yazi, okay, nice card. Resonator, we got the Vampire Sucker, the Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, okay. Cool card. That was over a dollar for a while, but I bet it's not because there's so much Ghost from the Past too, like on the market right now. So really not a lot really holding up. This used to be a crazy card. I don't know if it still is though, but that's from uh, Genesis Impact. Not a lot of people opening that. And plus, wait, is that a, is that a secret? That's an ultra. It kind of looks like a secret, even though it's just an ultra. 
Really Ona, I think, is actually decent as well. So those are probably like the first value of the set. This, I think, is worth a little bit. The Shekinaga as well. So we fit a few decent cards now. Okay, not bad. We're starting to add up a little bit, you know, get a few things. We got Dark. We got the S Force. Sorry about my voice, by the way, because I am feeling a little bit. Uh, uh, the allergies are really kind of hitting me right now. So unfortunately, we have a little bit of a sore throat. Uh, Machina, we've got the Fortune Lady, War Rock Mountain, there we go. Farfa is going to make us some money with this thing one day. One day this is going to be a crazy value. Uh, the Twin Head of Behemoth, oh, an original card finally. True Light, okay, Magic Key World. Magic Key World I think is like maybe a dollar, two dollars. Wind Up Rat. So far, we're looking for like, okay, Absolute Zero, that's like three bucks. Uh, we got a couple of those. I'm looking for anything that's over ten, because I don't think we've seen a card over ten yet. Well, it might be borderline on a couple of those. Let's see, Bougie and Yamada, Angel of Zara. We got, I think this actually has like weirdly high value because of some stuff going on um, with uh, Preda Plant, the Preda Plant deck maybe, I think. Okay, the Lilla Treat, I think that's what it is. That one I think is around like eight, 10 bucks. So another Lilla Treat. So some of those maybe have like, you know, we're looking at like a one to $5 like range for most of the stuff or less. We still have a decent amount left though. We have the amazing time ticket. I remember when these were actually worth money. I think they're not worth anything anymore. I pulled one of these in ult ulti as well. It's weird because like this ultra and the ulti are like the same value. It's really strange. The amazing, yeah, these are the amazement stuff. Just it got, it started hot and then just fell off. Utopic Ray, I don't think is anything. Montage Dragon original from the 10. That's pretty cool. We got Levy of Dragon Daedalus. I just love this card. I sent one of these from IOC first into PSA. I think two, actually. Hopefully, we can get a 10. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Imperial Bower. We got Blaze Cannon. There's a Preda Plant. I don't think it's the right one, but it's a Preda Plant. Bahamut Shark's a classic. Dark Magician. An original SDK Blue Eyes. This is a uh, NA print, which is cool. So, if that's like near mint, that's definitely worth a decent amount. But based on that corner right there, it's bent. Definitely not near mint. Okay. Torrential Tribute Seeker Rare. We got Monster Reborn. We got an Exodia set. Okay, that's something. That's something. Forbidden Lance. We got Utopia Prime. Jet Dragon. All right. Jet Dragon's cool. I think that's like nine bucks. We're getting close to that $10 value. Tyrant Dragon. We got the uh, Divisor King Deus Machinix. Uh, Libromancer Geek Boy. Chithonium. We got a Venomenon. Venomenon, the King of Poison Snakes. We got that. Melody of Awakening Dragon has usually been worth something. I think it got a reprint, though. Abyss Lead, I think, is one of the bad ones. And a Cyber Hurts. Okay. Still a few cards. Actually, a lot of cards left, actually. So hopefully something good. Because right now, we're looking at a lot of cheaper stuff. Sales Ban was like, maybe this will be worth something at some point. I don't think it is yet. Maybe a few dollars. Red Eyes Fusion. The Super Rare. I paid 40 bucks for these uh, right before they reprinted them. <laughs> 40 bucks for the Super Rares. That was stupid. This, I think, is 7 bucks. I listed one of those the other day. Dante, we got Pot of Extravagance, Underdog, we got Takaminos from McDonald's Pack 1, that's a nostalgic card, Dark World Dealing, Super Rare from, oh, that's from Strike of Neos, that's like a weirdly light print, that might be out of one of those blisters, I'm not sure, Magic Key Moth, yeah, Effect Veiler Super has probably got a few dollars worth, wait, is that bent or is that the sleeve, I think it's the sleeve. Charbrigade Kit. This also, I think, is worth a few, few dollars for a super rare. Third Absolute Zero. That's a play set. Okay, nice. We got the Gladiator Beast Hair Look Clean Nose. Very nice. Horus Black Flame Dragon. All right. So we're looking at a few cards that are worth some. I think the Seeker Rare is probably worth, I think it's worth like 20 bucks. That's not bad. Wicked Dread Root. Uh, obnoxious Healthy Guardian. Dad as the super rare. Only a couple bucks, but still really cool. And the Archfiend of Guilford. Nice. Now we're getting towards the front. So there's going to be a little bit more value coming here. Let me know in the comments, how much should I pay for this? I'm interested to see what you guys think about this. Uh, like what the value would be. Speed Road Invoked Kaliga. Get the, okay. Then there's a bunch of like the hollows that he pulled from the Japanese sets, which as I've said, it's difficult to move these and they're not very expensive. So a lot of these, even the collect, some of the collector rares actually are okay, but there doesn't seem to be the best ones. It's these two. It's not like the ones people actually want. Um, Blackwing, Crystal Beast. This is actually like seven bucks now, thanks to Crystal Beast hype, if it's near mint. Um, we've got the Nebophilus. Nebophilus. We also have the Battle Ball. You'd love to see the Super Every Samurai Battle Ball. It's a cool card. Then we have the classic hand trap. Super. Is this super or common? It might be a common. Common Maxi. I didn't even know that existed. Well, there's a common Maxi. Probably still worth a few bucks, even though it's banned. Foolish Burial, Air Knight Parshat. These look really good. These Seeker Rares from Speed Duel. Hiozanaru. We got the Blue Flame Swordsman. A lot of those. Four of those, actually. Uh, Luber. Oh, yeah. It's only like $5 now. Can you believe that? This card was like up at 25, you know, 20, 15, all the way down to five. True Draco Heritage. We got the Arubis, the uh, Breaker of the Magical Warrior. That's just a common, okay? So nothing crazy there. Call the Haunted or Call the called by the grave not the same card at all but both good cards this is actually worth a little bit ultra rare brow huntsman of dark world the dark world stuff is hyped right now so this is probably worth like i would guess like five to ten dollars 
Uh, and then a, this is some of the coolest stuff in here. There was the Shining Flare Wingman. That's a first edition ultra rare from EEN. There's a Wild Edge first edition. These are ultras, not ultis, by the way. We got a Super Wild Wingman. We got a Super Storm Neos. Ultra Grand Neos. Ultra Phoenix. We got a, a Flame Wingman. That's just the super from DP1. That's still cool. Rampart Blaster. And then the Dark Bright. So that's cool to see those. They're not the ultis that, that are like crazy value, but they're still really nice to like nostalgia of GX or whatever. And then we go on to the final stack. So at this point, I mean yeah we're not we're not at crazy value like we usually see like when we buy like big big collections so this is like a lower end collection for the most part we've got a couple of uh sealed promos there i'm not sure what those go for actually this is like a nice version what is this from oh this is season two yeah this would be nice for my mocking you deck because i use like a regular gold rare right now we've got the altar guys to memory gant all right blue eyes by dragon this is ske unfortunately so not too crazy this is like one of the cheapest blue eyes that, that's like actually old uh, number 20 Giga Brilliant. That's a ultimate rare, but it came in the 10 where they gave ultimate rares for, like for free. It was like a promo. Uh, King's Knight, Queen's Knight. Cool stuff. We got the number 32 Shark Drake. Does this have a ghost rare? I might need this for my binder. I'm going to pull that out. This I might need as well, but I think I actually have this because this, for my binder where I'm doing ghost rares, ultimate rares, and the secret rare version, or ultra if it was ultra instead of secret. And I'm doing unlimited. So first is unlimited. So there's six different cards for most of them. So I'm trying to get all those. I actually do. Okay, here's another ulti. I think I definitely need this unlimited Junk Berserker. There's also a first edition. I think I need the unlimited ulti, though. I'm pretty sure I need this card, so that's actually kind of nice for my binder, even though it's only worth, like, $20 or something. It's not worth much, but it's pretty cool. Necrons of Sophia. We got the Alessa. I remember pulling one of these in Tactical Evolution box. Uh, Al Alchemist of Black Spells. I said Alchemist or something crazy like that. We got the Cyber Dragon L Legendary Collection GX. That's a nice-looking print. Ultra rare. That looks good. Dark Magician, Salamandra, Barrel. We got the Dark Master. Hinikakisuchi, First Edition. Megamorph, Backup Soldier, Megamorph. These are First Edition MRL, so these have... So well, that's unlimited. This has some value, at least. Maybe like 45 if it's near mint. Karibo, Unlimited MRD. And Barrel Dragon, Unlimited MRD. All right, very cool. And finally, the last stack. Will it end off with a bang? Let's see. I don't really remember what was at the beginning. We got Trap Hole. We got some Korean cards, so, you know, not crazy value on the Korean Unlimited stuff. Um, a lot of those, though. We got the uh, Dark Hole. All right, nice. We've got um, more Korean. Okay, Korean, Korean, Exodia. That looks nice. Mystical Elf, the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Celtic Guardian. We got the Flame Swordsman, the Gaia. Gaia English print. That looks to be an original. That's pretty nice. Crystal Hawk Fibrax. Unfortunately, this is not the ulti. It's just the Ghost from the Past 2, which I think this is like $2. It's insane how cheap these cards are from Ghost from the Past 2. Here's another one I need. Pretty sure I don't have this, so that's pretty nice. Excalibur, I may or may not have Ultra. I'm not sure. Uh, same with Utopia Ray. Not sure about that. This one, I think I do have. I'm going to pull this side anyway. I don't know about this either. So all these, like, Ultra ones, like, I have, like, most of the Ghosts and Ultis, but the Ultras are actually the ones I don't have because I haven't bothered to, like, keep them for a long time. So... I think I need a lot of these, so I'm going to pull out all these Leviathan Dragon. The first Eds, I think I do have a lot, though. The Unlimiteds are the ones I don't have because I haven't opened as much of that. Wyvern, Red Dragon, Archfiend, Assault Mode. Pretty cool. Uh, Shooting Star Dragon. I might need that one. Not totally sure. Majestic Star Dragon, First Edition. Blackwing. I, I definitely have this one, I think. Uh, Scarlight. Wait, is this Unlimited? No, it's not. I definitely have this because we pulled a bunch of those. And then a Junk Berserker, First Edition. So it's a lot of like decently cool cards there at the end. But like nothing is like crazy value. So let me know in the comments. I want to know how much should I pay for this? Because like it's definitely lower end compared to like what we normally buy. But it has some solid stuff. Like we're looking at a lot of like $1 to $10 cards. Like a ton of those. So there's a lot of work when it comes to selling that kind of stuff. Let me know how much you guys think I should pay. Um, not a bad collection overall, but definitely not like what we usually see. So make sure you guys enter that giveaway for the Magic the Gathering and Pokemon stuff. So if you're interested in that, especially enter that giveaway. Appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tomefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, and Untie Show, Thomas McLean, and Seth Fisher. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.